In this video, we will show you the basics of writing G-code for the DIYer. G-code is a common machine language used in almost all CNC machines. Although there are dozens of usable commands, only a few are necessary to fully control the DIYer. Here we see the G-code for bending one 90 degree angle. Let's break down each line of code and explain what each command is doing. The first line is prepping the machine before bending. G90 is telling the machine to work in absolute mode. That means any movement on the axes will move relative to the home position. For example, home position on the A axis is here. If we tell the A axis to move to 180 degrees, it will move here. If we say move to 90, it will move here. And if we say negative 90, it will move here. All of these positions are absolute relative to position zero. G0 is telling the machine to move at maximum velocity. This number is 10,000 degrees per minute and is set by the software. A0Z0 is telling the machine which axes to move and to what position. Putting this all together, we see the first line of code is telling the machine to move the A and Z axes to position zero at maximum velocity. The second line of code is less complicated. Since G code commands are persistent until changed, the G90 and G0 carries over from the first line and is also in effect in the second line. As a result, the second line of code is telling the machine to move the A axis to pin position negative 20 at maximum velocity. In the third line, we see a G91. This tells the machine to move in relative mode. This means the axes will move relative to wherever they are when they get the command. For example, if we tell the X axis to move 50 millimeters, it will feed the wire 50 millimeters forward. If we tell the X axis to move negative 50 millimeters, it will feed the wire 50 millimeters backwards. In any case, it moves the axis a designated amount from where it's at presently. G1 allows us to change the velocity of the machine's movements. Whenever we set a G1, we'll also set an F command, followed by a number between 100 and 10,000 at the end of the line of code. This number represents millimeters per minute for the x-axis and degrees per minute for the a-axis. All that combined, we see that the third line of code is telling the machine to feed the wire 50 millimeters forward at 8,000 millimeters per minute. In the fourth line, we're resetting the machine to absolute mode, telling it to run at maximum velocity, then moving the a-axis to 66 degrees. It's important to remember that G-code doesn't run through a material profile, so there's no compensation for spring back and the geometry of your bend hardware. As a result, moving the A-axis to 66 degrees gives us a bend angle of 90 degrees for this material. Our fifth line of code has the G90 and G0 carried over, then moves the A-axis to 20 degrees and the Z-axis to negative 6. Since these movements are on the same line, the machine performs them simultaneously. In the last line of code, we switch back to relative mode, set the velocity to 8,000 millimeters per minute, and move the x-axis 50 millimeters forward. We have now successfully ran through our G-code and have a part with a 90 degree bend and two legs that are 50 millimeters long. With this G-code written out, we could go back and add comments to help us remember what is happening in each line of code. We could also use a G4 command to set a pause in the code. This is great if we want to bend multiple parts back to back and need a few seconds to cut the wire between each part. Learning G-code could seem like a daunting task at first, but with a little practice, you'll have the skills to get the most out of your DIYer.